Hello my Newman family, how are we all doing? I hope we are all doing great. Today I want to release a very important one that says it's your hour to move. Um, don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. It is your hour to move. Don't miss this opportunity. Ignore the wind and get on the boat. Okay, so I'm going to read a few scriptures. Just just I think uh, Matthew actually. Yeah, Matthew 14. I'm going to read that very quickly and I pray in Jesus name that this word will bless somebody. Heavenly Father, have your way. I welcome your presence, Holy Spirit. Let this word teach and encourage and edify the ones that need it in this hour, oh Lord. Help them to receive it the way that you need their spirit to receive it, to understand what you are saying and needing for them to do in this time. In Jesus precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, let me go ahead and read the scriptures. Amen. Matthew 14, 26 to 32 says this. It says, But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, I just want to focus on that first uh, scripture. I know we all know this scripture, but this is very, very important in this hour because the Lord is doing so much mighty things in my life, in our lives, but then in uh, some of your lives as well. Okay. It says when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. There's some of you that God has actually given you an assignment or asked you to go somewhere. And when the Lord really, um, revealed where he wanted you to go it terrified you you were like um lord but <laughs> i'm used to this place i'm used to this atmosphere like where you're sending me to daddy god um can we just have a conversation okay and you don't know what to do because you're not sure i mean you've never been there before and you have no family or friends there but you see when god was sending abraham out of where he was comfortable out of where he knew the the Lord knew that Abraham was going into a place where he knew nothing about. But God wasn't going to let him go by himself. God was going to go with him. When the Lord is sending you out to somewhere for a purpose, for an assignment, he always makes sure that he's going before you, with you, and ahead and uh, behind you. Amen. Praise God. So let's keep reading. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, take heart take heart be encouraged it is i do not be afraid and peter answered him lord if it is you command me to come to you on the water he said come amen so peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to jesus that's 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 his first leap of faith many of you just need to take a leap of faith and just begin to research about that city research about that town amen and and just get ready to book your tickets and move forward or it could be something that god has told you to do in the town or city where you are and you just don't know how to make that move because you're not sure how to go speak to this uh you know a group of people or how to go give that word or how to go you know whatever it is that god has sent you out to do don't miss that opportunity don't miss the opportunity because uh, you see, you know, things like, for example, in the case of Peter, the wind, you know, distracting him and uh, preventing him from even going for that. He, he takes the first step, but then he gets distracted by the wind. Don't be distracted, uh, you know, by your fears because the enemy is always going to come to you and put fear on your heart that, listen, no, don't go there because you don't know what's there, you know. Amen. Praise God. Let's keep reading. It says, it says, so Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, but when he saw the wind, when he saw the wind, when he saw the wind, he was afraid. What is the wind? What does that wind represent in your life right now? Fear of what? Fear of not having enough money to be able to cope where God is sending you. Fear of leaving the job that God has asked you to leave. Like whatever it is. Just ignore that wind, okay? Ignore that wind and the Lord wants you to push past the wind, amen? And move forward into where he's calling you into. Don't miss this opportunity. This word is for somebody. I know that this word is definitely speaking to you right now. Child of God, you know who you are, brother or sister, amen? Go ahead and follow on with what the Lord has asked you to do in Jesus' name. And he will be there right by your side to guide you through. Hallelujah. Let's keep reading. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, O oh, you of little faith, why do you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind 
ceased. Hallelujah. Jesus was there. Jesus was there all through from the beginning up until the end with Peter. But something made Peter just doubt and not believe that, you know, Christ was there all the way with him. Amen. The God that is sending you forward into this opportunity, into the assignment, into the ministry, into into a new job, into a new town, into this kingdom marriage, and you're being fearful of all of what could happen, what may not happen, or how it's going to look like, how it's going to feel like, you know, things that could go wrong. The God that is sending you, he's bigger than every, all of the obstacles, or all of the hindrances, or the resistances, or whatever, the lack of provision, everything else that you're looking at, take your focus off of them and keep your focus on God, because he's able to do more than what you can ever think or imagine amen i pray this word has blessed somebody in the mighty name of jesus christ i've got another word the second word to release today i'm gonna go ahead and release that right after this and i pray that it's a bless every single one of you that's waiting for kingdom marriage it's a word on kingdom marriage so please don't miss it go ahead and subscribe if you're new to new man church i'm minister glenn we love you all very uh, very very much and every link you need for the scripture is going to be in the bar below take care and god bless you all